Hi, this video is here to help you with multiplying fractions by integers. Remember a fraction has a numerator and a denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into and the numerator tells us how many of those equal parts we have. An integer is a whole number. For example, 1753 974. Before multiplying fractions by integers, you may find it useful to have a reminder of adding fractions with the same denominator, simplifying fractions and converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. You can use our videos to help you recap. Let's have a look at an example together. 4 multiplied by 1 fifth. 1 fifth can be represented by this bar model. The bar needs to be split into five equal pieces and we need to shade one of them. Because we are multiplying by four, we need four lots of one fifth. Remember, multiplication is the same as repeated addition, so four multiplied by one fifth can also be thought of as one fifth add one fifth add one fifth add one fifth. Now we can see that four of the five equal pieces are shaded, so four multiplied by one fifth equals four fifths. Let's have a look at another example, one third multiplied by seven. Again, we can represent the fraction using a bar model. Using repeated addition, one third multiplied by seven is the same as one third add 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 one third. So in our bar model, we need seven lots of one third. One third multiplied by seven equals seven thirds. We can see from the bar model that the 7 thirds is greater than one whole. We have two complete bars and an additional section. This equals two and one third, so 7 thirds equals two and one third. Let's have a recap of the two calculations we've completed so far. Four multiplied by one fifth equals four fifths and one third multiplied by seven equals seven thirds, which equals two and one third. What do you notice about the integers and the numerators in the fractions? That's right. The integer multiplied by the numerator equals the numerator in the answer. So four multiplied by one equals four and one multiplied by seven equals seven. The denominator remains the same. When we're multiplying a fraction by an integer, we need to multiply the numerator by the integer. The denominator remains the same. We might then need to simplify the fraction answer to convert it to a mixed number. So far, we've looked at multiplying unit fractions where the numerator is 1. Let's use our same steps to multiply a non unit fraction where the numerator is greater than 1. 5 multiplied by 3 quarters. In a bar model, we need 4 equal sections and 3 of them need to be shaded. Because we are multiplying 3 quarters by 5, we need 5 lots of 3 quarters. If we count the shaded sections, we can see that we have 15 quarters, so 5 multiplied by 3 quarters equals 15 quarters. In our bar model, we can combine these quarters so that we fill each bar. We now have the 3 whole bars and an additional 3 sections shaded, so we can see that the 15 quarters equal 3 and 3 quarters. If we use our calculation steps to work this out, we would start by multiplying the numerator, 3, by the integer, 5. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. Next, we keep the denominator the same, 4. Finally, we check if we can simplify the answer or convert it to a mixed number. 15 quarters is greater than 1 whole, so we can convert it to a mixed number. If we divide 15 by 4, we get 3 with a remainder of 3, so 15 quarters is 3 wholes with an additional 3 quarters. 15 quarters equals 3 and 3 quarters. Now it's your turn. Complete these calculations. You can draw fraction bars to help you if you need to. Pause now and restart when you're ready to check your answers. All done, time to check your answers. Pause again if you want to take a closer look. 1 ninth multiplied by 6 equals 6 ninths, which is equivalent to 2 thirds.
15 multiplied by 1 eighth equals 15 eighths, which is equivalent to 1 and 7 eighths. 5 multiplied by 5 6 equals 25 6, which is equivalent to 4 and 1 sixth. Now for a challenge question. At a pizza and movie party, pizzas are cut into six slices and every child in the class is given four slices. If there are 30 children in the class, how many pizzas are needed? Pause now while you identify the calculation needed and work out how many pizzas they need to order. How did you get on? The pizzas are cut into six and each child is given four slices so each child gets four sixths of a pizza. There are 30 children in the class so we need to calculate four six multiplied by 30. Four six multiplied by 30 equals 126 which is equivalent to 20. So 20 whole pizzas are needed to feed all of the children at the pizza and movie party. I hope this video helped you understand how to multiply fractions by integers. If you need more help with maths, head over to the Twinkle website for more videos just like this one. Bye for now!